Guys, you're not going to believe this, but a couple days ago, I made the rookie mistake of opening up Twitter, and what I saw shocked me. There's this tweet from Gary Tan, who runs a Y Combinator right now, and so he's reacting to a post that was made on Reddit, feeling very powerful as a technical founder with Claude Sinet 3.5. It's mind-blowing how quickly I can move. And they're not saying LLMs in general, but specifically Claude. Like, I'm pretty sure I could implement copies of the technical parts of most popular apps in the App Store 10 times as fast as I could before LLMs. I still need to make architectural and infrastructure decisions, but stuff like programming the functionality of a UI component is 10 times faster now, and this results in such fast iteration speed. And they kind of outline the steps to do that. I think they're completely right when it comes to like code snippets and like small pieces of code. LLMs have been pretty good and it seems like they're improving. Claude is even better now. And right now, if you look at the replies, a lot of them are pretty reasonable. But when I first saw this post, I can tell you everybody in the comments was acting like they lived in a different universe. Like I was thinking either I'm crazy or all these people are crazy. But now we've got some more reasonable people that are actually kind of questioning this because what exactly are you guys coding or is anybody coding where LLMs are making the work 10 times as fast? It's baffling to me. I've been using them the last couple of years, just like everybody else. And I feel like I'm pretty familiar with their limitations. And I made a response to this because I genuinely meant this sincerely. I just don't understand. Am I not doing it right? Anytime I need to accomplish something of medium difficulty, LLMs waste my time because for complex tasks, they just don't know what they're doing. I've tried. Like, this is not something I'm making up. It's from experience. Using them for snippets is fine. But who's writing their entire app or even designing their entire app or even like the complex parts of it? With the help of LLMs, if you're building something so simple that you don't need to write a quick doc or list out edge cases yourself or even design like the major trade-offs, then maybe sure. Like that was my hypothesis and it's from experience. And I said, I would love to watch a non-technical person create neat code IO. And this was actually more in response to another tweet I saw that was saying that like non-technical people can now be founders and build tech companies, which, you know, I humbly would disagree with. And I mentioned my site is actually pretty simple. I would love to watch somebody create it. And so many people saw this as a challenge and some people disagreed with me. Have you tried Claude? It absolutely shits on GPT-4. Oh yeah. But you know, I had a response to that, which I'll probably link in the comments, but this person, I'm not going to insult them. I have nothing against them. I don't even know who they are, to be honest, but apparently they're a founder. I mean, let's be honest, nowadays, like everybody's a founder. You just start a company and you can call yourself a founder. Founder is more of a vanity title, I think, at this point, but whatever. But I respect this person because they took time out of their day to actually try it out. And so <laughs> the first screenshot they sent, though, was not promising. They're using Devon AI. Whoa, guys, now I'm nervous. Devon AI, it's definitely going to put me out of business pretty soon. And I said, looking forward to it, especially the code sandbox functionality, which I honestly thought he was going to get closer than he did. <laughs> the results will, <laughs> um, again, I'm not making fun of the person. I'm just talking about the results. So they said, OK, I got pretty far after some prompting and they did this in a day like a full day it looks like I don't know how many hours they spent on it a decent amount I'm sure and so with a day of prompting this is how far they got let me show you sure it's not pretty there's no dark theme it's not pretty but like the main functionality looks like it's there right I mean I don't know why there's a progress bar on the home page my site did not have that but you know hallucinations are a thing and so there's a bunch of pages and it looks like the content is kind of there but first of all it's all skeleton like nothing is implemented not a single thing not even the problem list from neat code IO which I mean I'm not trying to plug it I'm just trying to show you what it looks like like there's a list of problems that you can mark complete and that's basic crud functionality i would not consider that a medium difficulty task so that is not done at this point so this is just an ugly ui skeleton and one major thing i noticed is i can't even get to the home page anymore there's no button to get back to the home page nice wow okay this roadmap feature right wow like ai did this that is kind of impressive i mean it doesn't really do anything right now but look at mine it's not about the functionality the feature parity but this is very different from this one you're probably thinking okay well it got you like 50 percent of the way there however you want to calculate it. it got you pretty close 
At the very least, AI was able to save time. But the problem is, I don't think this component is even compatible. Like, no matter which human or how hard they try or how smart they are, I don't think a human would be able to fix this and make it like mine or even close to mine with a progress bar with actual functionality, making it movable. So the problem with that is this will have to be rewritten from scratch, right? It's not a bug fix. It will have to be re-implemented from scratch. So it looks like AI in this particular case didn't save time. It wasted time. Who could have possibly predicted that? I told them the exact same thing. It's not compatible. It's going to have to be rewritten from scratch. And it's been a day. And I think they gave up. I don't think they're going to keep trying. If they do, I'll update you guys because, again, I don't have anything against this person. But again, it's just I, I just don't understand. Like, why are people making vastly exaggerated claims? Like, if you're not good at coding and you think you got a 10x improvement, I don't know what to tell you. I coded this thing as a junior engineer. I was a junior engineer. So who's saying LLMs are currently already at the point where they can automate the tasks of junior engineers? Who says that? Because I don't agree. I mean, if all you know how to do is copy from Stack Overflow and paste it into your code without understanding it, without being able to put things together, without being able to have, you know, at least one or two original thoughts once in a while, sure, maybe AI is going to replace that type of engineer. But in my mind, I always thought the bar for a junior engineer was was above that. Am I wrong? Even to get hired in big tech, you got to know how to code, guys. I know all I do is talk about leak code, but you got to have a little bit of, you know, full stack knowledge or just basic development knowledge. And this isn't even close to the most difficult part of the app. Like even the front end component it couldn't build. How is it possibly going to build like a full stack functionality like this where like you actually have a lot of things going on, especially like I cannot tell you even for me, like handling all these edge cases was a pain in the ass and you don't think I tried to use GPT or the other LLMs to help me do it of course I did but the hard part had to be solved by me and you know all this UI stuff LLMs help but this just in my opinion shows that if you want to build something impressive now you have to be even better because all the really really trivial easy stuff that's just UI and doesn't handle a lot of edge cases can actually be automated by LLMs. The very trivial stuff can now be automated by them, which is another reason to actually get good at what you do. I genuinely do not think in five years, LLMs will be able to recreate something like this without you know significant human intervention. But that's just you know my opinion, so uh, yeah. Anyways, I know this is mostly a rant, but I just had to get this off my chest because I just don't agree. I just feel like I'm living in a different universe from all these people on Twitter.